The Vivo Y53s is a mid-range phone from Vivo which sells for 1,699 Ghana CDs or approximately $280 in Ghana. And for that price, you are going to get a phone which has 256 gigs of storage, 8 gigs RAM and a 5,000 mAh battery. Now when you take the phone out of the box, you are going to get a USB-C charger, you are going to get a fast charging adapter which is 33 watts. You're going to get a clear plastic case you're going to get some manuals and warranties you are also going to get a pair of white earphones and finally a sim removal kit now there are many mid-range phones out there in the market so what makes this phone special we are going to see all these and more coming up next Have you ever felt are you listening the first thing when you take this phone out of its wrapper and out of the box that you are going to notice is the design of the phone. This phone has a plastic back which has all the colors of the rainbow, I kid you not. And the back of the phone is so reflective, it catches the light at different angles and shows you different colors depending on the angle of the light. Now the phone has a glass in front a plastic back and a plastic body. Now because of the very reflective nature of the plastic back, it tends to attract a lot of fingerprints so it gets like smudgy and dirty if you handle it raw. But the good thing is Vivo added a clear plastic case in the box. Now when you buy the Vivo Y53s, you get the usual ports and buttons that you have on most mid-range phones. So you have a fingerprint sensor embedded within the power button. You also get a USB-C port for charging your device, a 3.5 millimeter earphone port, and you get a speaker which is at the bottom. It's a bottom firing speaker, which is not very loud. I wish it was stereo, but hey, at this price point, you can't complain that much. Just know that when you are playing games or you are consuming content, and you are holding the phone and your hand covers the speaker you're not going to hear the sound all that well and then you also get something that you don't see in a lot of mid-range phones of today a notch yes you have a notch which houses the selfie camera in the display of the phone now speaking of display this is a good time to talk about the specs of the display of the vivo y53s this phone comes with a 1080p full hd display 90 hertz fast refresh rate and guess what it's an ips lcd display so you're not going to get the deep blacks that you get on amoled screens but hey at this price point you are not going to complain too much you don't get any kind of protection on the glass display like the likes of corning gorilla no you don't have that so you need to handle your phone with Okay. Now let's talk about the processor, gaming performance, general use of the phone. The Vivo Y53s comes with a mid-range processor which is kind of like the same processor that you are going to find in a phone like the Samsung Galaxy A32. It's fast enough, it's not super fast but in my time of use it was able to handle all the apps I opened and all the games that I downloaded and installed on it pretty well you can open multiple apps in the background and return to them without the phone necessarily having to close the background apps which is a good thing now paired with 8 gigs of ram and the 256 gigs of fast storage that makes the phone very good and very fast to use plus you have a fast refresh rate so it makes you know scrolling through social media performing everyday tasks very fast very smooth very intuitive now one amazing thing that you see on most vivo phones is that you can actually convert some amount of storage into memory right so for the vivo y53s you can convert three gigs of your normal storage to add to your eight gigs of ram to have 11 gigs of ram and that will help you to do all your multitasking and opening multiple apps doing excel spreadsheets and you know watching your tiktok videos really really fun now i mentioned that this phone comes with a 256 gigs of storage but you also have a 128 gigs variant now you need to bear in mind that this phone does not have a room for expandable storage. So if you're purchasing the Vivo Y53s, I would recommend that you purchase the 256 gig variant.
variant so that you don't run out of storage anytime soon. The Vivo Y53s has a fingerprint sensor embedded in the power button like I mentioned. It's fast, it's responsive and it's reliable when unlocking your device. Now speaking of unlocking your device, there are so many customization options on this Vivo phone even for just unlocking your device or for charging, the charging animation that is displayed and everything, face unlock. The amount of customizability options you have is just incredible. Now, this phone also comes with a fast charging adapter. It's a 3 watt fast charging adapter, which is able to charge your 5,000 milliampere's battery really, really, really quickly. Like in an hour at most, your battery is going to be fully charged. And that battery, when fully charged, can last you a full day, almost two days of use. Now, let's talk about the cameras on the Vivo Y53s. As a content creator, I love it when phones come with the option to be able to record full HD 60 frames per second because it allows me to slow down the footage in post and to be able to record more cinematic videos. Guess what? You can actually do this on the Vivo Y53s 1080p in that 60 or 30 frames per second. On the selfie camera, you can also record 1080p but at 30 frames per second. Now, it's a bit strange though because when you look at the back of this phone, you're going to think that this phone has three cameras or four at the back. But no, it has just two main camera lenses. You have the main 64 megapixel wide angle camera which is able to shoot that 1080p 60 frames per second. And then, strangely, Vivo chose to give a 2 megapixel macro lens, not a telephoto or an ultra wide, which is a very strange decision that Vivo made. I don't really understand, but hey, that's what you get. On the selfie camera front, you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera, which is able to shoot 1080p 30 frames per second. This is the quality of video you get out of the back camera of the Vivo Y53s. So this is the quality of video you get from the back camera of the Vivo Y53 when you are in low light conditions. But as you move into the light, then this is the kind of video quality that you are going to get. Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts? How is the camera? How is the quality of the camera? How is the quality of the audio? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, Bibri. And this is the quality of video you get out of the selfie camera okay so this is what video from the selfie camera of the vivo y53 looks like that's not bad it's okay my skin tones look kind of funny though but i don't know and it's very shaky as you can see the footage is not very stabilized but it's pretty okay if you have enough light however if you don't have enough light then the video quality would begin to um, deteriorate you know now uh, i'm looking very funny i'm looking very very funny but i mean that's okay now if you want a cheaper vivo phone you can buy the vivo y21 which i have made a review of on my channel so i'm going to leave links below so that you can watch this and also watch my other reviews of many mid-range phones that i've reviewed throughout the year thanks Bibri.